This is Spinnaker3 and I'm here in the 7.3 beta to show off a little more of what Mojo can do. Now I know a lot of people are probably seeing his potential after this week's Summer of Pain, but I wanted to show him off in some of the newer content that Kabam is giving us. So this is the Old Man Logan boss in 732, and the nodes on him aren't too bad. You know, he has Arrogance, which means that every 10 hits you will miss. He has Lionheart, which means you can't reverse his healing and return policy, which means that if his buffs are nullified, he will gain 60% of a bar of power. Now for those of you who don't know, Old Man Logan gains a lot of buffs. And most Mystic Champions that would feed off of this kind of matchup aren't really able to work as well because return policy will send him red if you nullify too many of his buffs. But Mojo doesn't care. Mojo will turn all of his buffs into degenerations and at the same time, they will feed him power to put even more degenerations on the opponent. It's just an amazing cycle, but the one tricky part here is that you do have to get around the node that is causing you to miss every 10 hits, which is arrogance. So that means that I have to time my combos so that I'm not hitting him and missing too much. You see the falter that just got placed on me? I miss right there. That's what happens every 10 hits. And Lazarus means that he has five revival charges. So if I knock him out, he will actually revive up to 20% health, but he re loses a revival charge for every 20 hits on my combo. So that's another thing I wanted to showcase about Mojo right here, which is that his special three hits a lot of times. So I'm actually inflating my combo meter up with my special three. And at the same time, I'm getting shot right back up to the special three because of Mystic Dispersion. And so Old Man Logan is just constantly ticking down with all of the degenerations on him. And I'm just inflating my combo up even higher with this node. So it is just an absolutely bonkers combo right here that is just allowing Mojo to take advantage of this fight and really get past it in a way that he shouldn't. And you'll also notice that I did start this fight off with my Awakened Mojo at um, enough subscribers that I don't need to actually ramp him up. It means I can just enter my damage immediately. And having that on Mojo is just so nice to have because it means that this old man Logan is just dropping. And it hasn't really been as many hits as you see in the hit counter, but my goodness, it has just been a very quick fight. And right here, unfortunately, I don't get to 100 hits when Old Man Logan dips down below zero. And so he will unfortunately revive up once. But like I said, because I've managed my combo really well in this fight, I've used my special three to avoid missing and to avoid having those more of the revival charges. And so every single one of those Furies, he gets so many Furies. Every time he does that, it's just instantly turned to zero instantly giving me degenerations, power, healing, degenerations, like all of this fight is just perfectly tailored for Mojo's kit. And in no time flat, this old man Logan drops. So full disclosure, I have not done as much in the 7.3 beta as I would like to, but the few fights that I saw really showed me that Mojo is still very much a viable champion. And I'm hoping that now that people are seeing his true potential through Summer of Pain, they'll start realizing the other places that he can be used, and he can be used effectively and well, being the best counter for a few different options. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know, leave a like, comment on how you're finding the 7.3 beta so far. I know I haven't found it as nice as 7.2, but I'm really hoping that they might change it a bit and really capitalize on the uniqueness that 7.2 and 7.1 offered. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys later.